requirements could be critical. Now, when we are talking about process requirements, it could be you know uniform blending, liquid addition, gentle blending, rapid blending. So, when we look at uh, these parameters, let us look at how the blenders that we discuss how they perform. Now, for uniform blending, well, the double paddle and the plow mixers we saw give us a very good homogeneity to the tune of 98 percent. The ribbons and the vertical screw blenders, well, uh, they would give us a homogeneity up to about 95 percent. So definitely when it comes to uniform blending, uh, the preferred choice is obvious. Uh, uniform liquid addition. Now, in plow mixer liquid addition is very easily done. If you have the formation of any lumps or agglomerates due to addition of liquid, the choppers would disintegrate that. The other equipment can also be provided with uh, liquid addition arrangements and they would do a fair job. Gentle blending. Uh, gentle blending happens uh, in the case of a V-blender and a vertical screw blender where we said we could handle fragile materials. The blending may not be as gentle when it comes to uh, plows or paddles which run at high speeds with the uh, mixing element. Complete discharge. Uh, sorry, uh, rapid blending. Now, the plow and the paddle, they run at high peripheral speeds and uh, a lot, you know, cause a lot of uh, motion of the particles. So, they kind of uh, give blending in short times. We saw that the plow is capable of uh, blending uh, solids within five minutes, the double paddle in, in less than a minute. Whereas uh, the vertical screw, the V-clone, would take about 15 to 20 minutes generally for a, for a blend. Complete discharge. Uh, we discussed that the vertical mixer, such as the, the V-blender or the vertical uh, screw blender or the vertical ribbon blender, now these are blenders which are capable of giving us a 100% discharge whereas a blender like a U, U trough blender, you know, a, a ribbon blender or a paddle blender, uh, the discharge is only to the tune of 95 to 97%. So when you require a complete discharge, uh, the preference would certainly be for uh, the vertical blender configurations. Rapid cleaning between batches. Uh, the design of the ra ribbon, the paddle or the double paddle, you know, uh, that is not something which is uh, conducive to rapid cleaning and in such cases, again, the vertical blender configurations are easy to clean and easy to discharge. Flexibility of batch volume. We saw that, that uh, the vertical blenders are uh, best suited for uh, getting a flexibility of the batch volume. Although there is some degree of flexibility with the other equipment, but then it is within a finite range. Whereas the vertical blenders give you a, a large range in terms of, uh, uh, you know, flexibility of batch volume. Uh, most important consideration, uh, it comes to the capital cost and the operational cost. So, when you're talking about the capital cost, uh, the, the V blend and the paddle blenders tend to be less expensive uh, as compared to the vertical uh, screw blender or the plow or the double paddle. In terms of maintenance, you know, uh, uh, you know, all of them uh, are fairly, you know, equal in proportion when it comes to maintenance. The V-Blender, because it does not have any mixing elements in the in the standard design, you can always uh, have V-Blenders with intensifier bars. Uh, so that gives you the lowest maintenance. And in terms of energy, uh, well, the V-Blender, Ribbon Blender and the Vertical Screw Blender, uh, they tend to kind of uh, take less energy uh, per uh, uh, kilowatt, uh, kilowatt per meter cube as compared to the plow mixer or the double paddle. So, uh, you know, if, if power is something uh, that is a constraint, then definitely the V-Blender, Ribbon Blender or the Vertical Screw Blender are a uh, better option.